Good morning, everybody. It's Maria here. I apologize for not posting um, a lot of videos since the last one was still before Christmas, and I meant to post videos when I was in the U.S., but um, of course it was a holiday and I was with family, and it's really tough to film and do videos when we're on vacation. So uh, anyway, I went to the U.S. If you're a new subscriber, um, we're American citizens who live overseas and we go back to the United States every summer and every holiday to be with our family and now we're back overseas again so if you're new if you're a new subscriber welcome to my channel and for my old subscribers thank you so much for supporting me and for being there for me and I love and appreciate each and every one of you so um, the reason why I didn't post when I was away is because, of, first of all, I was with family and second of all, I got sick just before New Year's Eve and as you can tell, my voice is still really bad and um, I'm trying to get over my cold, so I apologize for my voice right now, but um, today's project is this message in a bottle and I've got this nice heart. Tim Holtz key and some nice shabby chic kind of looking lace over here in this empty bottle. And then right inside this um, bottle is a music sheet and it's the song Thank You, which means a lot to me and my husband and I'll explain that later. got some music sheet over there and it's Thank You by Led Zeppelin and um, this is just a nice alternative to giving your husband or your boyfriend or um, your best friend a card for Valentine's Day so and this is just something that you can make that is very special and pretty inexpensive but I'm sure whoever receives it they will cherish it forever so if you want to see how I made this um, message in a bottle and if you want to you know, watch this video, then stay tuned and keep watching. So the materials that we will need for this um, project is an empty glass bottle, but this is just an inexpensive um, vinegar bottle or something that I cleaned and uh, put in the dishwasher and a music sheet. Now as you can see this is a very old Led Zeppelin music um, sheet book that my husband have had for a long time since the 70s and uh, since I really did not want to tear the pages and destroy this book because he's had this since you know he was like 12 or something um, I decided to photocopy this particular music sheet and this is Thank You by Led Zeppelin and this song is actually very important to me because when we first started dating my husband gave me a copy of this with the lyrics and then since he's a great guitar player he played it for me and of course I was you know hooked by then so you know that really worked so he played the guitar and he played the song for me thank you and he gave it to me um, he gave me the lyrics and it's just such a beautiful song so this one has a lot of meaning for the both of us so I decided to photocopy this first page and um, use my distress ink a Tim Holtz distress ink and then you'll need this um, distress tool and I decided to distress that and this is what I came up with. I distressed the, the sides and the paper to make it look really old and as you can see I photocopied it and distressed it and rolled it up using a skewer and this is what I came up with. And of course I used this nice lace sent to me by my friend and you will need of course some um, nice paper roses or silk roses this is in one of my stash and 
these roses have been with me for such a long time now but I basically just went through my stash and got some some roses and these ones are some white roses from Prima um, flowers that I got last summer and then I just colored it and distressed it with um, Tim Holtz Victorian velvet like so and that's and then this lace right here as you can see is like cream color I use this Victorian velvet to make it look pinkish and nice and all shabby chic so I just put my Prima flowers and the other flowers that I have um, using my glue gun to secure it and then I tied a bow and then I just curled the, the wire using my barbecue skewer so it looks very pretty and this is basically what's going to go inside the bottle and of course I just cut this out this is from Stampin' Up! and uh, one of our expressions, Thinlets, and it says love. And I will show you a video of how I cut this, but um, you need a red or whatever cardstock you have in your stash. And I chose red because I have red flowers here that's going to go at the bottom of that. And you'll need some sort of gems or pearls. I chose to use these um, crystal beads from one of my stash that's in this container. And uh, that's basically it, so let's put it together. Okay, just to explain, the music sheet that I have here is just the first page and I just rolled it up with the help of my skewer and I rolled it really tight and then I secure the sides here so it doesn't open. I secured the sides with my Tombow glue so it's nice and snug over there and then I basically use my glue gun to um, put the Prima flowers in there and roll the wires with the help of my skewers again and then tie the bow using my lace and I distress this lace using the Victorian velvet ink so what we're basically doing right now is I'm gonna put the beads first As you can see, it just makes it look pretty instead of just a plain, you know, bottle. So that's why I put the flowers there. I originally wanted to put these um, rose petals that I have. They're just silk rose petals and I put it there, but it was just way too big and it just didn't look so cute. So I decided not to use it, but I have those for other things. But anyway it's that and then I'm planning to put this love inside so I'm just going to roll it I guess and then just push it down and then the last thing that you want to put in there is your message so you just need to be really careful that's why you have to let your um, skewer help you roll your music sheet so that it is nice and snug and tight so that when you put it in the bottle it's not too difficult to insert in the bottle that's pretty much it and this is what we have so far and you can see the love there isn't that cute that just makes it really cuter isn't it so I have the love there, the flowers, the gemstones, and then I have the music sheet with our song. So I'm showing you guys now the finished bottle. Um, okay, I'll show you from top. I put the lace in there and then I used the Tim Holtz uh, adornments and this is um, the key that says heart. I was originally going to use love, but since I already have the love um, die cut over there, I decided to use the heart key instead. So it's like 
he has the key to my heart or something. So that's the message that I'm putting there. Just being romantic and all sappy and everything. So since it's Valentine's Day, we're allowed. So anyway, that's the top. And that's the key that I put in there with the lace just to soften it up and of course the the music sheet there in the bottle and the love die cut with the little tiny paper roses and the the gemstones so I'm gonna back up a little bit so you guys can see the whole thing I'm gonna post pictures of course of this so that you can make one for your husband or boyfriend or heck even your mother or your friend or daughter. Um, this is such a cute project. Instead of making um, a card for Valentine's Day, this is another alternative and uh, it's a nice gift. So I hope you guys enjoy this project and as I said, I'm back now so we're going to be doing a lot more crafting and decorating. So. This year is going to be full of um, fun. So stay tuned and uh, I will have a lot more posted in my, or on my channel. And yeah, I've started decorating for Valentine's now. So this is the Luminary candle with another die cut there with just some of the um, rose petals. Since I've, I'm starting to decorate for Valentine's now since I just took out the Christmas decor so as you can see I have this um, heart metal things there that I got from Joann's and uh, it has like a nice key it's very cute so but I'm gonna show you my Valentine decoration sometime when I'm done decorating but this is the project that we made so far today and I hope you guys will make one and so I would love to see your creation so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on my next project. Bye for now.